Welcome back to another 435 Survive, where we're gonna build a shed today. Give it to it. Day one here in Enoch, Utah, and uh, we got Caden over here pounding pegs. Give it to it. Give it to it. Day four on the Enoch job here. Look at, we got the forms set, the rebar grids made and installed, uprights ready. Here, Cade. Boop. Anywhere there's a screw. So whoever's doing this side, pop one over, over that. Okay? Here. That makes it so we can get the screws out after we pour mud all over these boards. We got mud coming in about one hour. So we just have a few little details we gotta finish up. So right here we just need to put a box in that little gap. Block out that little hole and mark out some strings for upright. Four trucks and a clean out. Approximately 42 yards, 42-ish. Share some, some wisdom, way. Dan. Share some wisdom. Um, so when what? Never what? judge. Judge not lest you be judged. And what else? Love and forgive. And make amends. What Try else? Strive to make amends alive. Do better. Those are all pretty my good. Life. Pretty good. Yeah, Will you give my back? Back. Oh, there we go. Okay. Way 
way to get the rebar. Insert it in there. Line it up with this dirt over here. Make your length. Get your fingers out of there because they don't give a shit about flesh. Today's a rebar day, baby. We got walls to put up. Over here, we got Ruth slapping. Look at that. Gloriousness. That's amazing. It's absolute gloriousness. Pat, what happened to your fingers, dog? Got the god sliced out of it. Damn. My gloves. Those are nice. That's how we roll. Every one of these gets an absolute way overestimated amount of rebar per square foot. Eight rings per thermocore logger. But come down and check on the youngsters. They're slapping up vertical. Slapping, or er, horizontals. Show us how it's done, Cade. So load it up. That is too nifty, Cade. Too freaking nifty. One day of work, did all the rebar and got the, lo the lower layer of forms up. And now Friday's over and we're gonna go home. Call it a week. Let's get the hell out. What that sound like? Oh, like a blade. <laughs> <laughs> we got a pour later today. So we gotta finish bracing up the wall. Fill in the scab boards, get the embeds ready, and then we'll be ready. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> Be about see that the height right you could have it down here nah just have it up here no need no need let's make right. this shit nice smarter work smarter or... not at all oh, that's right it's a shitload of coffee mm. it's, going, it's what it takes to get this guy going this big like mountain of a man caffeinated and ciggies
we're back here in Enoch, Utah. After a short week and a half break, they got the electrical, plumbing, dirt work, all done. And we're back to, to prep and pour the bond beams here. They're just the footings that connect all the other footings together. We got the boys over here slapping together some uh, rebar for the footings. Welcome back. We're about a week since the last check-in. I took off and had a baby and while I was gone they poured all this concrete. Now it's time for red iron, baby. Just getting started. frame flew and now we're gonna get going on the purlins. I'm gonna start on this outside wall over here and get to slap it. Let's make it happening. Busy. Day 11 of sling and iron. I actually don't know which day it is. It's been so many, I'm lost. It's all right, I got my coffee, my gloves, my harness, my hat, my happiness. Where are you at? Just kidding. It's here. <laughs> Coming over here to fire up the extreme so I can hoist a couple of beams. It rhymes. We got to start up this damn construction tractor. Today we're gonna do purlins. I'm gonna work on the end wall here. We're gonna get this whole ass end wall purlin. And the boys are gonna keep going on the roof over here. A little less than half done. We're kicking ass, taking names. No one to blame but ourselves.
Welcome back. We got all the purlins up, the sidewall purlins up, the roof purlins on, the base plate on, and the base trim. They're working on the X bracing, finishing up the X bracing. They're getting ready to start the sidewall sheeting. They got some insulation right here stockpiled. They're bringing the sheeting over. We'll get a big, a big wall of sheeting done today if the weather permits with calm winds and, and blue skies. So we're getting really close to done. We've got one more half wall to finish. Installing the crane rail. The last little detail, baby. screwing out the wall. The last little detail. Canopies above these doors. The last little detail. Pouring concrete in the diamonds. The last little detail, baby. 